Hi! Today, we will learn how to create a dynamic block for our windows. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make out our window. So, I will come to the command line type REC and hit enter. Click on my screen and drag the mouse rightwards. Then I will now hit shift and 2 to get its symbol. Then type 1200,225. Now the 225 represents the 9 inch wall. This shows that the window is an exterior window. So I will drag it and center it. Now the next thing is to create a new layer. So I will click here and now type windows. I will change the color to the favorite color I love using for windows layer. That color is blue. Now I will highlight the objects and go up here and select windows. Now the next thing is to explode this rectangle. So I will type X and hit enter. Let's check it out. It has been exploded. Let's offset this by 50 millimeters. I will offset downwards. I will offset this upwards by 50 millimeters too. Then we will offset this by 20 millimeters to offset downwards. We will also offset this upwards by 20 millimeters too. Now we will offset the vertical lines by the right and the left. So I will offset this by 100 millimeters. I will offset inwards here and offset inwards here too. The next thing for us is to trim. Now type DR. Hit enter twice. So click on this and drag. Click on this and also drag. So now we have our window. Now let's turn it into a block. I will highlight it and type B and hit enter. I will name it window underscore 1200. You can now click on pick points. You can pick any point on this object. I will pick something close to the center. I will click here, then I will click OK. Now let's turn it to a dynamic block. So to do that, I will double click on the block and go into the block editor. While at the block editor, we will need to take note of some things. We have the parameters tab, actions tab, parameter sets tab and constraints tab. Let's make use of the parameters tab. Now, if our aim is to increase the height of the window, we would choose linear parameter then measure from here to here. If our aim is to change the width from time to time, we will choose here. So I will click here and click here because we intend to alter the width. Next thing is to highlight the parameters attribute. Then go to my properties window. If you don't have your properties window showing, then you can highlight it by right clicking it, then go to properties. I have mine showing, so I will scroll downwards. Then I can rename distance to width for the block attributes. Then these are my grips. 1 and 2. I will prefer increasing the width from only one side. So I will set my grips to only one. Next thing, go to your actions tab click on it and choose stretch which is the closest to what we want to achieve. So let's read the command line. It says select parameter, so select this. Next thing, it says specify parameter points to associate with action. So I will go for these grip point. Now specify first corner or stretch frame. You can go here, highlight it downwards. Now the next command is select objects. So I will select only the objects I wish to be able to move while editing the dynamic block. I don't want these two vertical lines to move. So I will deselect it by holding down the shift key and clicking on it one by one. Now I think we are good. So I can hit enter and save my block editor. Then I will click here to save changes. Now let's test it. So I can increase this to a 1500 mm window by extending by 300 mm. I can also reduce it further by 600 to a 900 mm window. We can check it by typing DLI and hitting enter. 
It's perfect. Thanks. If you love our video, do subscribe. That's how great ideas are spread. Thank you.